Welcome back to another episode of Cutter Uncut. Today we're at Casa Max's house. Today we are joined with Joey. Hi. Joey Michaels, right? Joey. Yes. There we go. Thank you for coming on. Yes, uh, thank you for having me. We met you yesterday. I met you at the Gavians briefly. I took your photo. Which you got <laughs> finally. <laughs> yes, I finally great. got. Thank you. Did you fly in? I drove in with a couple of other creators from Phoenix. Oh, I'm cool. from Phoenix, Arizona. Born and raised? I was born in Kansas. In Kansas? Yes. Wow. Uh, I've been to Kansas a couple of times. So you live in Phoenix now? Yes. How do you find that? I like it. I'm not going to stay there forever. I know that. Yeah. Yeah. Eventually, I plan to move out here in Nevada. Vegas? Vegas? Yes. Yeah. Yay. All right, guys. It's hot. Can you tell? No. <laughs> it's it's a little chilly, chilly, but I think we should take our shirts off. Yeah. I'm, of I'm down. Yeah. 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 What got you into OnlyFans, and how long have you been doing it? I started making solo content when I like first turned 18. And I've only done my first collab of July of last year. Okay. So I've only been working with other people for a short period of time. I just was like really like fascinated when I was like with it when I was younger. And that's why I started doing it because I was like, wouldn't that be cool? Yeah. Like if I was like actually successful at it. Obviously, I like didn't really have super high expectations, but I'm very happy to be where I am now. Yeah, cool. <laughs> what got you into it? You just saw it and thought. Yeah, I literally saw it and like it was like right before the pandemic. Pandemic, so like some people were talking about it. I wanted to like feel more confident in myself, you know, and I was like, this seems like a good idea. <laughs> Just put it all out there. You know, everything. Yeah. everything. Yes. I mean, it helps. Yes, it does. It does. It, does. Yeah. it kind of breaks that down that like first barrier of yeah. like, I guess like nervousness with your like own body or something like that, you know? We started OnlyFans back in what, October now? October. So we're new kids on the block. And, and it was just us. Yeah, we did just us until January. Yeah. And like, for me, like, I've always been, like, I don't know, felt weird being naked, like, in public or, like, in settings and stuff. And I always liked the idea of it, but then when the reality sinks in, I'm like, I can't do that. Yeah. And I still am, like, so shy, and I'm like, no, I can't do that, I can't hmm. do that. But with this content, like, it definitely helps me with my confidence with that. So I, yeah. it's totally relatable for me as well. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. It's all within due time, you know, the baby It'll steps come. it takes yeah. to, to get there. Yeah. Exactly. So what's the most amount of times you've had sex in a day? In a day? Probably, like, nine. Okay. That was last night. No. no. <laughs> this morning, what are you talking about? Nine. <laughs> yes, nine. That's a lot. It was the last content trip that I came out here to do. I had so many back-to-back -back collabs. And then, obviously, chemistry was fire, you guys. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you have to have a little fun on the side sometimes. And then I had this, like, massive orgy scene at the end of it. And then I went to a cast party after. And everybody at the cast party was like, well, we're tested. <laughs> so then, of course, there was just more. Yeah. It was great. Yeah. <laughs> 10 out of 10 recommend if you guys. <laughs> this is our Any first videos? Like, content house. So. Really? Yeah. yeah. It's mine too. It is? Yeah, it's my first content house. Oh my God, that's so crazy. <laughs> We're all virgins here. <laughs> How do you find it? Is it something you'd do again? Um. Uh, yes, I am still quite a bit nervous, but I've been like slowly warming up today. I just think it, that it's just like a lot of new faces. Even though I am personable when you talk to me, mm -hmm. I'm still a very shy person. Yeah. So it's a little hard for me to branch out. You know, but everybody's been lovely. Everybody's so hot. Everybody's got more cake than I've ever seen <laughs> in one house. <laughs> okay, so it's been it's been good. I've never been in an environment where everyone's comfortable to walk around naked either. So this is like breaking so many barriers. I was about to say, girl, me too. I was like standing there naked inside the house, and I was like. <sighs> Never done this before. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. And I'm doing it. Yeah, yeah. I'm loving yeah. it. Yes. <laughs> Look at us. Have you done studio stuff? Yes, I have made about eight studio scenes so far. It's been fun. The first studio that I worked for, I ended up reaching out to them and they were like, yes, absolutely. So that gave me a little bit of confidence. Yeah. And then they absolutely spoiled the shit out of me. So now I have <laughs> such high standards, which I appreciate because you know, you need that in the get go, you know, when you're first starting out and all that stuff, yeah. which I appreciate them for. So what's the craziest sexual experience you've ever had? I don't know. Cause to me, like all sex is just sex. So like, I'm like, what counts as crazy? Right. It's just like, what is wild? Cause I just, 
maybe I'm just a slut or maybe I was just desensitized or something. <laughs> you normalize it by doing the crazy. Yeah, things. yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's why I'm like, I'm down for whatever. Yeah. I don't know. I, okay, this was before I like was really big in content, but like I sucked some dude's dick at a, like a gay bar in front of like a lot of people. Okay. I was like so scared to open my eyes. That is crazy. <laughs> You're just like, okay. That was big for me, okay? Yeah. That was like super crazy because it was like, a public bar that isn't very far from my house, so mm -hmm. that was taking a risk as well. Right. Okay, it was taking that risk yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to be recognized later. But that was, yeah, I guess I would count that as crazy. I don't know if I could do that. <laughs> like, I literally, like in, the, in this house even, I don't in think I could go either. down on someone if there was people around. Yeah, yeah, it's been a bit nerve-wracking. Yeah. I think that's also my issue that's been my issue with the content house is that I'm so used to making content with a one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like private. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. And like, even when it's like group stuff, it's like not the whole damn house, you know? Like, yeah. I totally get what you're coming from. <laughs> okay, so we talked about like your craziest sexual experience. Have you got a worst experience? All the time. Yeah? Yes. Well, I mean, not all the time. That would just suck. But like, Hopefully not. I've definitely had some really, really bad experiences. Like, there's this one experience where this one dude was, like, fucking me doggy. And, like, well, I originally was writing. Like, not facing him. Mm -hmm. Because I'm trying to, like, focus, you know? Yeah. And then he, like, pushes me over. And I get rug burned because he pushes me onto the rug. Oh. And then he proceeds to, like, aggressively slam me into this rug. And I'm like, my knees! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> my elbow! Oh, my God. <laughs> yes, are a lot of head. times I will just get, like, the worst head ever. Oh. Just the worst head ever. I, You know what? I'm like, you go, champ. You, you go. go. Pat on the back, <laughs> keep going, yeah. You go, champ. <laughs> You're killing it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the enthusiasm. As long as they have enthusiasm, I'm all for it. Yeah. Okay? I'm all for it. Okay. So take note. <laughs> <laughs> take note <laughs> for later. Within the OnlyFans realm, have you had a favorite collab? Yes. Do you care to share the name? Yes. I just recently today... Today, um, today, I released the clip. <laughs> oh, okay. I was we like, wait, it two minutes ago. Uh, I filmed at the Gavians. It's Eric Hall oh, or yeah. Twink Big Nine. Amazing person. He is so personable. He's absolutely adorable, and he has like the biggest dick I have ever taken in my entire life. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. Mm. Chef's kiss. Obviously, I literally could name so many people that I love working with. That one sticks out to me. So that's the number one. That's cool. Good job. Good job, Eric, if you <laughs> watch this. Job, <laughs> <laughs> Good job. <laughs> you made it. And now, it's time for lightning round. Tom or sub? Sub. Harry or smooth? Harry. <laughs> Top or bottom? Top. Oral or anal? Oral. Now or later? Now. Public or private? Private. If you're into them, rope or handcuffs? Rope. <laughs> That's a firm rope. <laughs> why do you choose rope? Yeah, why rope? I love shibari. Oh, you do? I know how to tie up a lot of people. I've tied up myself. I think it's really hot. Gets things going. And you look really sexy. Do you have rope with you? I don't. I should have brought rope. I know. <laughs> Give us an example. Yeah. <laughs> Let's How do you untie down. yourself? <laughs> I'm not tying my hands. Oh, you're tying Oh, okay. Yeah, like you do some body. I love binding my legs. Mm. We love a binded leg moment. Yeah. My favorite spank bank video, my legs are binded and I'm just getting plowed. Oh, there we go. My go-to. Yeah. And that's on your OnlyFans? No. That one's not on the OnlyFans, <laughs> <No>. okay. <laughs> no. Should it be? It should be. Yeah. There we go. I gotta hit him up for some paperwork. <laughs> uh, yeah. So our favorite question. Are you cut or uncut? But wait, don't tell us. We're gonna we, reveal it if that's cool like with you. We would like to see. Of course. Yeah? Yeah, we right. wanna see. You guys wanna see, I wanna see. Yeah, let's, let's. I wanna see. You wanna see. <laughs> we all wanna see. You ready? You ready? I'm ready. Are you guys ready for the reveal? Drum roll. Three, two, two one. one. <gasps> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> What's going on? Where'd it go? <laughs> <laughs> so you're technically uncut. Technically uncut, yes. 
do you want to talk about that a little bit? Tell us yes. your story. Yeah, you want to hear? All right. Of course. You guys want to hear about it? Come on in. Tell us the story. <laughs> I mean, it will probably still go on my OnlyFans. My fans would probably love it. Yeah, yeah. of course, yeah. yeah. All right, so tell us, when did you know? I feel like I've pretty much known my entire life. I got in trouble a lot for stealing my dad's clothes. Oh, really? Yeah, because I wanted to wear them. I used to wear my just... mom's heels, so I get it. Yeah, <laughs> literally. It just seems so much cooler. Right. I'm like, I'm going to wear it. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's yours is mine now. And then I was watching like cable television and I saw this documentary about trans people and I literally was like so in shock because I was like oh, I can do that and it like it, it was like something clicked inside of my brain mm -hmm. because I pretty much spent my entire like young childhood like wearing guys clothes and like playing with the dudes dolls and like every time I was on a video game like movie star planet mm -hmm. I, I was the dude oh yeah I was on there <laughs> yeah. I was the dude you were the tomboy yeah. I was yeah. I was and like you know every opportunity I cut my hair short as soon as I knew what scissors were <laughs> yeah. get up get did that out did you do it yourself or did you get the hairdressers and I did it myself at first and everybody got mm -hmm. mad and they're like well now we have to get it fixed yeah. <laughs> and then it stayed that way <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's how it goes. And then, um, when it comes to like transitioning and stuff, when did when did that occur? I came out when I was eleven years old. I am now twenty two, so I've been out for eleven years now. Wow! Half your life. I literally half my life. That's I am a, a young elder, yeah. <laughs> as they say. Yeah. <laughs> and then I wasn't able to start medically transitioning until I was eighteen, mm -hmm. because when I did come out as eleven, I did not have a great. Uh, support system with yeah. that so I ended up being like a foster kid and stuff and mm -hmm. they won't like let you do stuff like that when you're underage oh, I see. but once I turned 18 I got my ass on the city bus mm -hmm. I went to the hospital <laughs> I was like this is happening juice me up I'm ready yeah and it's it's been great I got top surgery a year and a half ago yeah I got a keyhole oh, okay yeah, yeah like you wouldn't great. even like tell Thank you. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> like, you know how, well, I guess it's more of like the old style where they would cut underneath, right? Yeah, the double incision. Yeah. Do so, they, they still do that though, right? Yeah, they do yeah, that all the time. I just, I had a really small chest and I paid $13,000 for it to look like this. It looks so great. I paid a lot of I money. I mean, it's an investment though. <laughs> it right? is an investment. You don't yes. have to have the scars for the rest of your life. So yeah, yeah. no, it's understandable and yeah. it's worth, it's worth doing. Because life Dolce is a long Gabbana. time. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> Dolce and Gabbana. <laughs> Dolce and Gabbana. And then you, like, you go on testosterone and stuff? Yeah, I've been on testosterone now for about four years. Okay. Yeah. It's, How has that been? It's been great. I don't know. I like it. I, like, started off with doing the shots in my thigh. That was too scary. Yeah. So I started doing it in my stomach. Oh my and then God. I got too skinny. <laughs> That's even worse. So now I have somebody to do it in my booty. Oh, okay. okay. Everybody likes it in the butt. Yeah. <laughs> so. And you do that like what? Once a? Once a week, yeah. Once a week. Yeah. Oh, okay. Every Wednesday, it's my shot day. And then I go get myself some ramen. Nice. That's your <laughs> shot. That's my your butt. <laughs> yes. Are you able to do it at home or do you have to go somewhere? I do it at home. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. So I you like, travel, you can bring it with you. I draw everything up, and then I can't, like, bend and do it at the same time. Because, mm. like, my hands will shake if I do that. Yeah. So I call over one of my friends, and I'm like, I'll buy you lunch. Yeah. Help me out. Yeah. 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 Put great. a needle in my butt. Yeah, stab me in the butt. <laughs> Who doesn't want to stab me and in the butt? And then put something else in the other spot. <laughs> <laughs> if they're a good friend, yes. Yeah. <laughs> or a great friend. Or a great friend, yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. That's... We love a great friend. Yeah. Do you Anything any else questions? you want to say? No, I, I think we've covered a lot of really good things. Yeah, yeah. I've had such a fantastic time talking to Me you guys. Too. Yeah, Thanks me too. Thanks for coming on our show. Man. Yes. Yeah, for being open and talking about it. and I mean, Exposure. Yeah, we gotta we gotta let the people know what's up. Yeah, yeah it's exactly. good to learn about you. You know, do you have any advice if like someone watches this and they're like considering it and what they're going through? Maybe if they're younger and stuff, because we put this on YouTube as well. So, I 
just want to say that it gets so incredibly frustrating and um, obviously when you're younger having to wait and stuff like that and it gets so incredibly frustrating when you feel like kind of like stuck you know mm -hmm. I just want to remind people that it is all like in a day's time you have to be patient with yourself and you just have to remember that like your journey is not going to look like everybody else's and even though it is super super easy to get zealous or envious of people just know that like you will eventually make it there yeah. so like don't beat yourself up over it because i know we all do it <laughs> and it takes time like, it does yeah. it takes time and it's also like you have to take time to kind of find yourself, mm -hmm. you know? And like, obviously there are other things in the journey that we all want like immediately, but like, I just want to remind people that like, even though you're frustrated, you will get there. Yeah. And you will look back on everything and be like, wasn't that so hard? <laughs> <laughs> but now I've done it. Yeah, but now I've done it. Because it took seven years for you, and that feels like an eternity, especially at 11 years old. Yes, yes. What a journey. Yes. But when you're 70, you'll be like, oh, that wasn't that long, and yeah. now I've lived my whole life like this. So. Yeah, it literally, <laughs> everything is hard at first, but it will get so much easier. Use the envy as, like, fuel to, like, work on yourself, you know? Because, like, I feel like once you are more comfortable and sure of yourself, then like the whole journey is just gonna be great. Yeah. You know? And then you find your community and your crew and... Yeah. And then it's a bit easier. It's a bit easier, you know? Obviously it's all easier said than done. But... Of course, but everything is. Yeah, but it's <laughs> also said with love. Easy, <laughs> it's not done. like it's easy. And it is not <laughs> easy. <laughs> so yeah, everything, I don't know. I saw this thing that was like saying about how going to the gym is hard, but being like super obese is hard choose your heart ah oh, yeah and it's i feel like that's relevant to like everything you know like not having social media but wanting to do only fans is hard but then the work is just as hard but you got to choose your heart yeah mm -hmm. exactly yeah. it's uh honestly what you put your energy into that's another thing too like people are going to hate on you all the time i get hundreds and hundreds of hate comments all the time no matter what video i'm in and like at the end of the day you just gotta like live your truth and know that like you are a representation and like as long as you're still slaying you're still slaying yeah. yeah you know it doesn't matter what people think and hate comes from like a place of jealousy i've discovered yeah or like or... fear yeah fear and, and it's jealousy. like okay pussy like get over it <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you ah. scared of <laughs> yeah i'm gonna come into your room at night like <laughs> please <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Well, thank you for being on our show today. Yeah, thank and you. Yes. Thank you so much for having me, you having guys. Yeah. <laughs> we're all like freezing cold out here, but we're all going to hug and be like, ah, it's <laughs> cold out. <laughs> so be sure to check out your channel. We'll link it down below. Also, thank you, Casa Max, for having us. Yes, and thank you, Casa Max. All these yes. wonderful hot guys that are here. It's yeah. awesome. We love it. And we will see you in the next episode. We might hear you in one of the background <laughs> vocals. Yeah.